Hello everyone, my name is Liz and I'm obsessed with Disney. This week, I thought I would give you a who's who of Disney's new show, Alana of Avalor, via a Disney-bound lookbook. So, here we go. We'll start off with our main girl, Crown Princess Alana. She's a badass and she will stop at nothing to take back her kingdom after a 41-year reign of an evil sorceress. To get her look, I paired a bright layer dress, to mimic Elena's ruffles, with some T-strapped heels, just like hers. Of course I added some hoop earrings, and instead of flowers in my hair, I went with the geometric gold clip. Just for fun I thought I would add Elena's necklace that Isabel gave her in episode 2. Next up, we have Elena's little sister, Isabel. She's super adorable and loves to spend time with her big sister. The number one thing to know about Isa is that she's an inventor. I put my own twist on this brilliant little girl's look by ditching the big bows and opting for a ribbon in my hair instead. I brought the gold accents in Isabelle's dress into my look with this gold V-shaped necklace that mimics one of the designs on her dress perfectly. Since Elena is only 16, she has a grand council to help her rule. This is her grandfather Francisco's look. He's on the council. He plays the guitar. That, that's why I'm doing that. I swear. <laughs> he wears all blue except for his red sash. I brought that in via the pocket square in my denim vest. The vest, by the way, is covered in spare buttons from Disney World cast member costumes. Perks of being a former costuming CP, am I right? The buttons, of course, are stand-in for his medals. This is my look inspired by his wife and Elena's grandmother, Luisa. She is also on the Grand Council and she makes some bomb tamales. To create this look, I layered a lace sweater over the top of a floral dress to mimic Luisa's pink and floral style. But what really brings this look into Luisa's closet is the jewelry. Based off of all the jewelry we have seen in the series so far, I believe blue jewels are an Avalorian export because everybody is just dripping in these stones, especially Abuela Luisa. And here we have Chancellor Esteban, Grand Council member and Elena's cousin. He's very knowledgeable when it comes to Avalor and knows everybody who's anybody in the kingdom. He does, however, wish to usurp the throne from Elena, so there's that. his look, I went with a purplish maroon skater dress and paired it with the yellow bandana around my neck for Esteban's ascot. Now I know he wears tall black boots, but I opted for these short ones because I always feel like a supervillain in them, and I think that's pretty appropriate for him. I brought his blue ruffles and sash in with this blue bracelet that's actually supposed to look like coral, which works out considering Avalor has become the busiest port in the entire world. The final member of the Grand Council is Elena's new friend, Naomi Turner. Naomi is adventurous and takes no crap. She's very hands-on, just like Elena. No wonder why they click. To recreate Naomi's unique style, my way, I layered a blue dress over a white button-down, instead of a navy bodice and a green shirt look. I did, however, keep the pink belt, the knee-high boots, and the killer jewelry. Continuing with the theme of Elena's friends, this is Mateo. 
He is the grandson of the royal wizard Alakazar. As in Alakazar that saved Elena's sister and grandparents and set out on the journey to free Elena from the amulet, Alakazar. And he's a wizard in training himself. To put together a bound of his green vest look, I decided I wanted to put the green under his white shirt instead of over it. I also swiped out his bow for a tie. And finally, we have Captain Sexy himself, uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> Lieutenant Gabriel Nunez, aka Gabe. Gabe is one of the Avalorian Royal Guards and a friend of Elena and Isabel. He may seem like he's all business, but it's just a front. Underneath it all, we know he's just a goofball. A really hot goofball. For his bound, I took inspiration from his two-toned blue uniform and translated that into a two-toned denim on denim look. Of course, the red piping of the Avalorian Royal Guard needs to be present, so I just added a red statement necklace, and I topped it all off with the show-stopping boots from the Naomi bound. I hope you all liked my first Disney Bound lookbook, and now know who's who in Elena Balfour. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all on Thursday. Have a seamless day. Bye. Did Elena just know him? Did she know of him? How does she just know where he lives? Like... <laughs>